Dexter New Blood Episode 1 Title Cold Snap Of course this is the beginning of a 10 pilot collection 10 episodes event miniseries Or I like to call these small one shot type of series Of the return of everybody's favourite friendly neighbourhood serial killer Dexter Morgan And of course you can't start talking about this show Like this episode without talking about the last time that we saw this character Which was the final episode of the original series, series 8, episode 12, where they went a very symbolic ending, if you may think about it. If you think about it in like the way they decided to wrap it up originally, they went for a symbolic ending that kind of made everyone go, it doesn't feel like you're putting a tight bow on it. You feel like it feels like you're putting like a light type. Like I feel like I can still like the the lid of the box is still a little bit janky and it's like really that's Dexter becomes a longer jack at the end that's how you're ending your show and Deborah is in the mid is swimming with the fishes and all that okay let's that well that sucked and it, you know, became for a lot of people their worst, the, the first, the, the worst final episode of the season for them. Of how it ended. So, and here's the thing, I've been found the show since the first time I saw it, and that was like 2007. So I was like, I don't know, 11? I know, I know. I watched it, I started watching the show way too young as I should. It's kind of like the first ever like adult drama I ever saw and it was just a show that I kept watching and watching and watching and watching out through the years and it was a, a, the show for me and so I'm saying so I, I got excited when they announced hey we're gonna bring the show back in you know 2021 and Michael C. Hall is back in the original show one and and all that and I got this level of excitement and watching this episode, I was like, this is great. This is a really great episode because naturally what people probably want is like, there's things, uh, there's some box to tick for maybe a first episode of Dexter, which is he better fucking kill someone, which he does. He does. He does do that. But what you have here is the journey of that. And if you really want to use a metaphor for this, is if you want to treat Dex's addiction of killing as, say, an addiction of alcohol, it's Dex hasn't drunk the bottle for 10 years. And because of it, he has a completely different life. And seeing this life and how he interacts to these new bunch of characters is absolutely well done and really well fleshed out and really also makes still Dexter feel alien to everyone else like he gets along with people people like him but there's still a sense of like yeah you're still not 100% connected to everyone you still it still does feel like you're a little bit it's a tad even though you're you know buddies with your guy you know your the the co the co-worker at work where he works at a at a, a, a hunting store or a camping store where people can buy like hunting gear like guns and knives but also buy like camping gear and all that um, even though he's he's in a relationship with a police officer uh, who's you know the most outrageous thing is like dealing with a drunk on Saturday night who has drank maybe one too many. Um, and you know him being a local and how he, you know he's under the name of, of uh, was it Jim uh, Lindsay, which is the author, which is the, the name of the author who wrote the Dexter books, because Dexter the first season is based on the first novel. So that's a bit of basic there. It's you know building on that, the building on this whole his life, this his new life, while having Deborah, the ghost of Deborah, who clearly is like the Harry of this event series, is in his head about do not kill. Do not 
be that close to people because anyone that you're close with will die you know think about me think about dopes think about Guetta, think about Weezer, think about you know all these other people these people will die if you are closer so Dexter has that mindset because he has devil as this kind of, as a ghost figure as you may say and it's just dealing with such good character stuff and hell it's it's entertaining yes where you have Dexter who once again is dating a police officer and her co-workers are talking about this murder where because the main people the main threat you may say are these bunch of 20 year olds who have lived of a life with no consequences and there was a situation where they had pie too hard and five people died on a boat and they kept talking about it and Dexter kind of feels like once again if you want to use him having his addiction of killing as addiction to alcoholism the police are pushing the ball away and Dexter's like can you please stop change the subject but this these kids or Lisa's main guy this one person keeps showing up or he ha having the situation where his life is slightly evolved and more information is coming niece and we find out more information and Dex is kind of like imagining things now and he's kind of, and I'm like I'm surprised he, had, he I'm not seeing him snapping just killing these people like on the spot in the middle of the middle of where everybody else is like he's like I was waiting for him to snap and when he does snap at the beginning I thought because we saw him doing a imagination scenario I thought it was the same thing because he kind of did the same thing I thought okay it might be a imagination and when I realized oh no he actually did bash the guy hit the guy with a gun and he's going to start you know, tonight's tonight is going to happen again and again and again, at least um, nine more times. Um, it's, it's, I will like, I had a smile face. I know it's weird to say, hey, a show about a serial killer and you have a smile of Dexter, the serial killer doing his thing. It's like, it's weird, I know. But it's like the moment the dark passenger starts coming in, who's like, hello, Dexter Morgan, or saying words like hello like he saying things like it's it's been a while you know hello again like you know and it, i just had this massive smile and it the, probably the best scene is the 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 um affection scene the the scene where like dexter likes to talk to his victims and it's a really well written scene really it's Dexter doing his thing and you know finding different ways of how he can kind of do the things he normally would do like him finding well I don't have blood slides so how do I do the blood thing uh I'm going to just break some glass and use that said glass on the guy's face and use it as like it, their blood slides and Bizosha showing like how pathetic the 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 kid the the guy on the table is because he starts using like bad parenting as his excuse of <laughs> why he's doing it, but it's just with, this episode is just really well done. It's deal with character. And I think one one of the things I heard about the show when it got announced that some people felt that Dexter was a part of its time, like the show was the the original show was a part of its time and dramas have evolved and changed and that and they will worry about it adapting and i think this episode kind of shows like yeah we're going to have the dexter moments that we all love and we adore and and we all love and inside in this compound but at the same time while having those modern dramas sensibilities and i think this episode shows that 